Hey guys, it's Doug from the DC Show. Corey and I aren't going to be able to film this week, so we each decided we wanted to film ourselves talking about Werewolf by Night. I watched it last night with my daughter, and I got to say it was a lot of fun. It's only about an hour long, but they did a lot with that time. It's a old school horror film take, black and white, with just little pops of color here and there. And I got to say, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of Ted aka man thing he's a my one of my new favorite characters in the mcu and i i can't wait to see more of him i was hoping for some moon knight because moon knight was introduced in the werewolf by night comics but no no moon no moon knight yet but hopefully in future projects they'll be able to work together that'd be a lot of fun so did you guys get a chance to check out werewolf by night if so let us know what you thought hey guys so the wife and i got a chance to watch werewolf by night this past weekend and it's a pretty fun project um i think marvel did a really good job with this it's a nice standalone story. Um, if you're a fan of like horror, especially like older, like 40s, 50s horror movies, I think you'll definitely enjoy this. If you're not a big like superhero fan, you'll still enjoy it, I think. Um, I think there's something like my parents would enjoy, especially my dad. You know, he likes that classic older like horror, you know, growing up in the 1950s. So I think he'll really enjoy this project. Um, so dad, if you get a chance to watch it, highly recommend it. Um, but it's fun. I mean, you've probably seen the trailers, I'm guessing, if you're a fan of the Marvel content. But it's a black and white project. Um, focuses on a couple of different, like, monsters, uh, monster hunters. Uh, don't want to give away the story because I definitely want you to go check it out if you get a chance. But it was definitely unique and a lot of fun. Um, hopefully we see some of these uh, characters showing up in future projects. But like I said, you don't have to have watched any of the past Marvel content to enjoy this special. Um, the run length, I think it was perfect. Um, it could have been longer cause it was a lot of fun, but it definitely felt like the correct run length for this project. Didn't feel too long. Didn't feel too short. Um, and it was just a lot of fun. Like I said, it was definitely a, a different type of project than what Marvel's done in the past. Um, had a real good, like spooky kind of Halloween vibe to it. And as soon as the project, or as soon as it started playing, my wife and I were like, man, we should watch this again for Halloween. You know, we hadn't even gotten into the story hardly at all, but just the feel of it, it was like really good, like Halloween type show. So, uh, you know, if you haven't watched it and you want to wait for Halloween, that'd be a cool thing to do. But uh, I think you'd enjoy watching it a second time on Halloween if you get a chance. So anyways, let us know down below in the comments whether or not you got a chance to check out Werewolf by Night and what you thought of it. Thanks, guys, and have a marvelous day.